There is no sex, man. I had no idea that marriage just means no sex. No, none, fucking none. I have friends that are thinking of getting married and they say funny shit like, hey, you know, I don't know if I could do it because I don't know if I could have sex with one woman for the rest of my life. I'm like, don't worry about that shit. You're going to have sex with zero women for the rest of your life. That's a lot less than one. One woman. Who the fuck do you think you are? Where'd you get that fantasy? I'd love to have sex with one woman for the rest of my life. Any one woman. Big, fat, dead lady with a beard. I'd fuck her every day. I'd be proud to have her. That's not usually my problem. These days, my problem is very simple. It's trying to find a place in my house where I can masturbate without somebody bothering me. And that's really difficult. There's nowhere to go anymore. She's got her mother staying with us, too, in the guest room, and I'm on the streets now. I got nowhere to go. <laughs> like, now I know when I see a guy in the West Side Highway jerking off in plain daylight, that's not a homeless guy. That's a married man right there. <laughs> He's got nowhere to go. Fuck it. Fuck you. Go ahead and look, man. I got nothing. To, what else am I going to do? It's not fair, man. I'm 37 and I own my home. I should be able to just stand in the living room. How you doing, honey? How the, good morning. But I can't. I gotta hide. I'm down in the cellar by the boiler like a troll down there. <laughs> just fucking miserable as shit. That's what it's like. Masturbation doesn't bring much joy to guys. Women seem to like masturbating. They put flower petals on the pillow. They're like, oh, me, or whatever, you know. <laughs> the guys are like, ah, oh, shit. No, fucking hell. God damn it. Sometimes you find ecstasy, but it's followed by the deepest self-hate and depression you've ever felt. It's an amazing drop from way up here to this, like, oh, yeah, oh, what the fuck is wrong with me? God damn it. I gotta get to work. I don't have time for this shit right now. <laughs> but then you get married, now you gotta hide. And you have to. You have to hide. Because when your wife catches you masturbating, that, that's sad for the whole family. That's not, not a good moment in a marriage. She comes in the cellar. Oh, my God. And then she always wants to know shit about it. She always asks me stuff. My wife's like, well, do you think about me when you're doing that? What are you, fucking high? Why would I do that? Why? I can think about anybody. That's magical. <laughs> Why the fuck would I? I'm married to you. What do women really think? Their husbands are going, oh, my wife. Oh, yeah, that's fucking hot. Oh, yeah. Picking her up at the airport and getting yelled at. Oh, that's fucking hot. Yeah. Put it in the hamper, not on top, you idiot. Oh, I love when she talks like that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, whatever. We're a family. We have a kid. That changes everything. You know, that's the whole thing. The kid is everything. Marriage is nothing. Without a kid, marriage is dating. It doesn't mean shit. And you don't realize it until you have a kid. Here's what happens. When you get married, you go, holy shit, I can't leave now. I mean, I wasn't thinking of leaving, but now I really can't leave. Then you have a kid and you go, holy shit, I could have left. <laughs> Totally could have left. Fucking door was right there. And now I can't go. I got a kid now. I love my daughter. It's a lot of responsibility that you never think about, though. Like, uh, you got to name your kid. That's a big deal right there. And you know what's amazing to me? You can name your kid anything you want. Isn't that incredible? There are no laws. There should be a couple of laws. None. You can literally name your kid anything. You can name your kid a name with no vowels if you want. Like, it's just 40 F's, that's his name. Go clean your room. <laughs> Some people name their kids a word like sunshine or battery or whatever. 
I'd like to name my kid a whole phrase, you know, something like ladies and gentlemen. That would be a cool name for a kid. <laughs> this is my son, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> then when he gets out of hand, I get to go, ladies and gentlemen, please! But you gotta be careful what you name your kid. You do have to be careful because what happens is other kids in school are gonna make fun of them. They're gonna make fun of their name. And you don't have to give them a weird name because they can do it with any name. Kids are geniuses at that. <laughs> any name, they take it, they go Louie Screwy, Joey Blowy, Mike, your mother's a dyke, whatever. They find a way, these kids. Any name, what's your name? Eric, you fucking asshole. See, just like that. <laughs> Lightning speed these kids got. What's your name? Joe, eat a bag of shit, cunt face. You see, just like that. He got that all through school and cried like a pussy. It's not gonna happen to my little girl. <laughs> my daughter is really something else, man. She's, she runs the house. She runs the whole house. She decides everything. Like we were playing hide and seek the other day. We play hide and seek and we play by her rules that she invented. And do you know why? Because she sucks at hide and seek. And so she covers it with this fucking roost to level the playing fields. And I gotta fucking pretend it's all that she's great. No, it's bullshit. Like, we're playing... Oh, fucking... I know she's a kid, but fucking listen. When it's my turn to hide, she tells me where to hide. She tells me where. She goes, hide in the closet, Papa, but you're gonna know where I... Hide in the closet! All right, fuck, I'll hide in the closet. Good, fine. Now I'm standing in the closet like an asshole. <laughs> she comes in, I found you. She's like shitty about it, like, I found you. And I'm like, wow. How did you figure out where you told me to fucking hide? And then when she hides, this is her hiding. She goes over to a wall and does this. She goes... That's it! There's nothing here! What the fuck is this? Like this is some ninja invisibility crouch. And I gotta act like an idiot. I can't just walk in and go, yeah, you're there. Because she'll cry and shit her pants, right? So I gotta walk around like an asshole. Where is she? I have no idea. Where could she be? I'm making eye contact. I don't see her. It's amazing to me. The other day we're playing, this is how things have gotten in my house, okay? Here's a very good example of where it's gone. We're playing a version of hide and seek where my wife and I have to decide together where to look. She likes that. She's like, Mama, you tell Papa where to look. Okay, well, fine. So she's over there hiding like this, just in plain sight. And my wife and I, my wife's like, why don't you look under the bed? I'm like, okay. okay. <laughs> she's not there. And then she says, why don't you look in the linen closet? Okay, so I open the closet. She goes, that's not the linen closet. We don't put that in there anymore. All right, fucking Jesus. All right, I'll look in. So I look in that. Why would she be in that closet? It has shelves. She can't stand in a shelf. Well, maybe she's crawled in a shelf. Now we're having a fight about where to look for this fucking kid who's standing right there. She totally runs the house. We were at, I remember Halloween last year, a couple of days before Halloween, my wife comes up to me and she's like, we have to get you a cat costume. <laughs> no, no we don't, actually. <laughs> no, we do, because she thinks you're going to be a cat. I don't know. It's like she's, got a, she's a guy with a gun in the other room. That's what it's like. She's like, she thinks you're going to be a cat? I don't know how she got it in her head, but she's expecting to be a cat on Halloween. I was like, well, tell her to go fuck herself, because I'm not doing it. I'm not afraid of her. She's two. I'll fucking fight her. I could take her. I could beat the shit out of thousands of two-year-olds all day, just walk around. They would never even gang up on me. They suck. I'm not afraid of her.